So you're starting the end game content of the Elder Scrolls Online and people are asking you how high your parse is and you have no idea what that means. Well this is the video for you then and I'm going to teach you the basics of parsing in the Elder Scrolls Online. So let's start with what a parse actually is. A parse is just a snapshot of your DPS in an ideal scenario. This allows you to let other people know roughly where you stand and what content you can handle effectively. To start, I wouldn't bother parsing until you're CP 160, that way as you continue to level up your champion points you won't have to change out your gear because it will already be max leveled. So let's get started with your first parse. First you're going to need a target dummy. Most major guild halls will have three options. A 3 million HP dummy, a 6 million HP dummy, and a 21 million HP dummy. The 3 mil dummy is about the equivalent of a veteran dungeon boss. The 6 mil dummy is the equivalent of a tougher vet dungeon boss. And the 21 mil dummy is the equivalent of a veteran trial boss. This dummy also provides you with trial buffs, synergies, and debuffs. Since you're watching this video, we're going to assume it's your first bar, so you're going to want to start out on the 3 million dummy. It will be quicker than the other two, and you can get a real good idea of where you stand. Before you begin whacking away at the dummy, you gotta do a little bit of prep work. If you're on PC, I highly recommend you download the Combat Betrix add-on, since it allows you to look at your parse in more detail. If you aren't on PC or don't want to use the add-on, you can still see your DPS, but you won't get as detailed of a breakdown. Next, you're gonna need some buff food, but not the buff food you would run in a trial. Like I said, this is a DPS snapshot in an ideal scenario. You're not taking any damage, but you'll be using a lot of resources, so you're going to need food to increase your total and regen amount of your ideal resource. For a Magicka DPS, I recommend the Ghastly Eyeball, and for a Stamina DPS, I recommend the Lava Foot Salt Rice. Another thing you're going to need is potions. For the Magicka DPS, you're going to want Essence of Spell Power potions, which are made of Corn Flower, Lady Smock, and Water Hyacinth. If you're a Stamina DPS, you're going to want Essence of Weapon Power Potions, which are made with Blessed Thistle, Dragonthorn, and Wormwood. Stamina based DPS would also want Poisons, and I recommend the Damage Health Poison, made with Fleshfly Larva, Nightshade, and Nurn Root. Now that the prep works out of the way, you can actually start to attack the dummy. I highly recommend using any channeled abilities or buffs before you actually start the fight, so they don't take up time during the actual parse and you can do more damage. And just attack that dummy until it's dead. It'll take you a couple of minutes and then you can back off. Once your parse is complete, you can look in your chat box and see your DPS amount and the time it took you to defeat the dummy. If you're using the combat metrics add-on, you can type slash CMX in chat and you will get this window to appear, which gives you a detailed breakdown of the damage you dealt, what abilities did what damage, and any buffs or debuffs uptime. If you have more veteran players in your guild, or you know some, you can send them a screenshot of that combat metric parse, and they can help you improve your DPS. And that's the basics of parsing. So now get out there and improve your DPS. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications the next time I post a video. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash as well as follow me on Twitter at Kunzel ESO. Thanks for what you're both in the description. I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. Your support means the world to me, and I hope to see you again real soon.